da da dum. Oh, look, we're all histophobes again. Power one. I I just can't help but laugh at these anymore. I am Mecca. Hello, please, please subscribe to this. I don't even know what mess of a channel Skynet thing I'm trying to... Oh, hey, uh, I guess, guess what? Sorry for the uh, stuff. Uh, chemo port. Uh, my hair hasn't fallen out yet. I have about 10 minutes of energy a day. Thank you guys so much for sharing this. The ex started that. No, we're not together anymore. Yes, I desperately need you to help with the videos or, you know, anything. And I'm going to try my best to entertain you and pick apart these because I, I just, every day, every day we see this in entertainment and the political sphere. The power of men. Jolyn Turner, Jody Turner Smith, Jolyn Turner, Jolyn Turner, that's Sager from Rainbow, Stone Cold, all that. This is my problem. I mix stuff up with music and then it becomes one of those things like a Lincoln Co Kennedy coincidence where my brain, my brain goes somewhere that my TV screen or computer monitor won't. The Acolyte, we all watch The Acolyte. Nobody likes The Acolyte. It was bad. <laughs> it was cringy and it had the power one. Two by two and space witches and lesbian witches in space creating force babies out of their butts or something. The power of many. Is this a butt baby? No, no, that's that's Marvel. That's Marvel. Okay, same difference. Uh, they're gonna call you istophobes for that too. Was that a real thing? She's as real as a hopped up queue on Captain Picard Day. I think so. What does she say? <laughs> They've got to stop doing this thing where they don't say anything when people are getting effing dogpiled on the internet with istophobia, racism, and BS. It's just not fair to say to not say anything. It's really unfair. Would you even notice it? Would you notice like the one nice thing between the 700 dog piles? Because I've gotten dogpiled on the internet. Where they try and get me to join whatever cults because I didn't have the right opinion, whether it be a woke cult, an anti-woke cult, a we're not anti-woke, but we are so not anti. It's every every five seconds, every five seconds, there's a group trying to get their tribe elevated, isn't it? And the entertainment industry's cult and or tribe is still stuck on this you're a racist, 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 you're a racist. You know what? If you do. The power of one. If you do something, if you do repeat the same word over and 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 over again. What happens? You end up with people on the internet. The power of Using the R slurs, using the F slurs again. That's all over Twitter again. What's what's stopping people for the other? That's gonna be the next thing. You're gonna call them racist so much they're gonna just be like, you know what? And they're gonna just gonna start really, really getting bad. It's gonna start really getting bad. You cannot force people to enjoy a product based on a bunch of marketing accounts and guilt trips. I am sorry, not anymore. It hasn't worked for a decade and it's still not working. And you can have all these paired analytic, bot accounts, stand accounts, all you want. You can have these, these fan movements and petitions all you want, but these shows, keep in mind, at the end of the day, are for a very small micro fan base of Star Wars, of Star Wars, a property from, that's older than me, a property from the 1970s. <laughs> okay, that has its fan base, and then it has a new fan base, and then it has a new fan base. Okay, now we're on the thrice fan base reborn Star Wars, at least, at least, and they're still playing the same tired song and dance. You can't stop me, I'm a Jedi from Jakku. We don't get to fill upward like a lot of white men. Kathleen Kennedy, bitch! Put a chicken in and make her name it gay! Kathleen Kennedy! Got to fail upward, didn't she? <sighs> well, spank my ass and call me Charlie. We don't get to fail upward like a lot of white men. I'm sorry, every woman I've ever worked for has failed upward. She has been incompetent 
and has failed upward. The only person who's failing downward is myself. Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. Because why? I'm held to a masculine standard, I suppose. I'm held to a higher standard. I'm held to a God standard that I can't keep up all the time. You don't get to fail upward like a lot of white men. Bullshit. Bullshit. You can't tell me that. You cannot tell me that. You cannot fucking tell me that. I wasn't gonna swear. The last few years have been anything ordinary. I see this. This is me watching too much, uh, too much politics too in the morning. So I'm a, I'm a little. Hmm. I just, I just had a big freaking burger because I need protein because chemo. Oh, chemo's bad. Be, ew. Yeah. When I lose, when I lose my hair, I'm gonna do my best to do a good sci-fi, a good sci-fi bald chick. Give me your suggestions, please, in the comments below because. In the past few years, I've been anything but ordinary for, no, no, really, because I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like, uh, female Centauri from Babylon 5, you know, something, something cool like that, something really cool like that, you know, like, of course, Star Trek 1, of course, Star Trek motion picture, obviously, first, first, I'm on a tangent, I'm just focused more on when I go bald and lose my hair at this point. The last few years have been anything for ordinary, but ordinary for Jodie Turner-Smith. From becoming a Hollywood mainstay to navigating a very public divorce, the actor has ridden the storm from being a woman in the public eye. Well, yeah, they first uh, tried to tried to race bait the entire internet and all of the UK, apparently, with that Anne Boleyn. Remember where they decided to race swap Anne Boleyn just so they could chop off a black woman's head? I'm like, whoa, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why would you do that? You, why, why would you? Let go of everything that you fit or lose. That's racist. That's more histophobic. But then again, I'm this, I'm this like weird little whatever coming in, you know, being practically asleep for 20 years. So all of this stuff is new. All this, this slow build of this tribal separations and shifts. That's freaky to me. You brought me my liquid desert. Oh, her limoncello. Oh God, I don't care. This culture crave thing. Basically, she calls us all estophobe. It's in this glamour thing. Yeah, the first line is we don't get a fail upward. <sighs> Do you really think? Do you really think that this is going to sell you for anybody other than these five producers in their little producer club who like like using diversity like Pokemon? Let's face it, look at what they do with women. Look at what they do with diverse women, especially. They use us like Pokemon and they collect us and pit us against each other. And that happens all the time. And, and I'm wondering if that happens to her too. I'm wondering if they manufacture a bunch of rivalries and all of this stuff. Because I can only speak like as a, as a female, not as of any of color or anything like that. But for me, for me, when they use me as the, oh, well, you should like this because you're a woman, or you should like this because of your hair color, or you should like this because, because you know, you identify with this as a female, right? Or a skin color or whatever. That annoys me. That annoys me when they're like, you should like this because you're a woman. Why don't you like this because you're a woman? You're a woman, though, but you're a woman. And they try and shuffle everybody into a thing. So, I mean, are they doing this with ethnic groups as well? I think we've seen that. I think I've seen that. What is your experience? I know, I know I have a very diverse viewer base because I don't bullshit you. Cause I would bullshit you. Cause I'm like, you know what? They're just going to cause more of that. These articles are just what's slowly happening. What's slowly happening on Twitter. We get more and more people with the R slurs and the F slurs, R slurs and the F slurs. And what's the next one? So they're amping up these race bait division stuff. It is getting out of control. I am Mecca. Thank you so much for watching this video. Just a short rant about why we're all istophobes again, apparently. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have my boom. I don't have my boom queued up. I never have my boom queued up. There it is. You can't stop me. I'm a Jedi from Jakku.